morning, everybody. Spectacular morning. So beautiful. Temperatures chilly, but certainly workable. The uh, <clears throat> had a pretty good night last night. Sleeves and I, you can check him out on his channel. Uh, decided to <clears throat> camp together about 1.4 miles down from the shelter. I uh, showed you the meadow. Just beyond the meadow was, you probably saw the stairs going over the fence. Uh, we just got into the wood line there, had a real nice uh, spot. He's hammocking. So I was able to find a, you know, a level spot for the tent. Um, my knees were particularly bad. Took this day, started to stiffen up. And this morning uh, have been real bad. I wish I could have shot some video for you all from last night. I really do. It was probably, as far as video wise, my most significant disappointment because the site was really beautiful in that little uh, wooded area and the stars were just spectacular. We had that crescent moon last night and the stars were just beautiful. So I'll try to make up for that. Um, literally, I could barely get around on my knees uh, to get around the camp to, to do that for you. So uh, today we're just gonna do eight and a half miles to um, Virginia route 16 that is right near Monroe I believe is the name and we're gonna go in for lunch uh, I think Monroe's an actual town like a, a significant town and if that's the case I, I'll say right now there's probably an 80% chance that I'm just gonna hunker down in a hotel I have to do a resupply I only have dinners I only have meals actually for, for one more day, so I have to get food. Um, and I will probably hunt for uh, another um, brace for my knees. Uh, so my right knee, which has been chronically a problem since I fell in the Smokies, coming down those hills in that um, unkept trail for the last three days uh, just I mean, you know I've probably been favoring my left I've been trying not to but um, I've probably been favoring my left and now I have significant knee pain in my left knee so I have got to do something I'm not gonna do cortisone I'm not gonna do pain so I'm just got to figure out what the best solution is as far as resting it uh, when I can. I may have to just drop back in miles and spend more day in camp to rest my knees. Um, it just depends on what the trail is going to do. Today's been a beautiful trail. Ever since we got down on, off that one mountain uh, and into the meadow, since then the trail has been, well, this morning, I mean the last mile, has been super nice. So. Anyway, don't want to start the day with that, but um, that's the reality of looking at the hike. Uh, other than that, like I said, the plan is 8.8 .8 miles to Virginia, 16. Uh, sleeves and I'll go in, grab lunch, and then I'll make a decision from there what to, uh, to do as far as staying overnight. Um, everything else is really good. Uh, Eastern Woodlands, not a whole lot to show you, but the birds are out today in the sun and it's supposed to be a warm day. Today was supposed to be like in the high 70s. We're not going to huge elevation. We've already climbed about 400 feet of our thousand we're going to do today. We're this morning, so not too bad. Um, so I will leave you here and I'll 
show you some sights and scenes as we uh, come across them. It's a beautiful little farm nestled in the hills here. You can see that this is <clears throat> a very easy path and consistent with what we had heard about Virginia coming into it. <clears throat> Healthy, I could easily see myself have doing 25 miles on this. I mean, I did 21 yesterday, even broken as I was. And with the horrendous trail that was about two thirds of it. So physically, mentally and emotionally, I would say, and when I say physically, I mean like my you know respiratory system and my and that sort of thing my body you know as a whole um they're all healthy and ready to take on this next phase of the uh of the hike but um it's simply and solely my knees and those things are holding me back. But, you know, it's pretty much always going to be something. So I need to find a balance there. Maybe if I take an overnight, only do eight and a half miles today instead of 18, like I would normally think of doing, and take an overnight and get maybe a little bit stiffer brace for my knees and then take it easy getting back on trail you know a week or so I could be sort of back up to certainly being able to manage this sort of trail and terrain and then get healthy before getting to um, Pennsylvania because I know what Pennsylvania is going to be and I need to have worked out my knee issue before that time so I'm going into another ascent so I'm going to leave you here but that's sort of what the thinking is right now this is the friendship shelter which is also the indicator for Virginia 16. How you doing? Uh, the scars, right? It is, yeah. How you been, man? Good, who's that? A uh, score, score. We started on the same day. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen you probably since. Wow, like, that's two, right. Three. Wow. Let me just finish this up real quick. Yeah, so back there's the privy. Look how nice that is. And then the shelter. My God, man, this is like friggin' nice. All right. Sleeves and I are here at the Mount Rogers Recreational Park Visitor Center. It's friggin' nice, beautiful. Uh, we're trying to figure out a ride into Marion as we speak, so we thought we were gonna be able to yogi a ride with a guy, but it turns out he was just dropped off, so rather than getting picked up. So anyway, it's all good. We're we will find a ride and uh, let you know. This is the Mount Rogers Recreational Area Visitor Center. Look at that, man. Somebody's got some money. And the partnership, that wasn't the friendship, it was the partnership uh, shelter I was at just a little bit ago. 
So we're going to go down to the road and see if we can't hitch a 